stopped here at Salt Creek Falls and it looked pretty sweet through the three-way trees. So we're gonna go check it out. Good news though. What's that? Right, we actually, we're actually at Crater Lake, so we actually made it because uh, even because it was just the north entrance that was closed, now we're at the south entrance. Right? Yeah. So now we got this road right here that says closed, uh, and it is, you know. But what we're gonna do is actually just. woke up to Crater Lake. Here we are. We were up all night just up the road a little bit. Don't tell anyone. We set up some really nice time lapses out there. Got some beautiful stars. You uh, should see this time lapse. Or you just saw this time lapse. I did? Oh. Well, it's looking pretty dope. So now we're just gonna kind of hang out right here uh, for, you know, for at least the morning. Maybe check out some more stuff. We're gonna grill up some breakfast sausages and look at this. <laughs> Situation, little situation we got going on right now. So we're at the top of a ridge. Uh, we're still trying to get. Uh, we were trying to. Uh, I don't know. We're probably not going to get there, but we tried to get there, and it's a little far, and we're really cold and wet, feet especially. We didn't get snowshoes. We should have. Didn't get snowshoes. We should have had some snowshoes, probably. We had some wool socks. Here. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, check this out. Me and Anthony are cooking our. Socks or insoles or boots and stuff. Let's check out my foot. Stars. Yeah. Morning here, Cole Kramer in the back country at Crater Lake on day three of our adventure. We came in last night about sunset and we found this nice little tree spot to keep away from the elements. The stars were so dope last night. <laughs> Hiking the good part of the morning in the snow. Shoes are soaking wet. Got a nice sun kissed sunburn. Now we come up to the place where they're plowing snow. And we're about to hit the road and get on out of here. People are going to know you had a third cameraman out here. Like the Alaska man. I want to thank Aunt Anthony Ponce de Leon for being out here on this adventure with us. You know, not only is he here as a 
as a friend and hiking companion, adventure buddy, but he's positively, uh, you know what I mean. He's making things better. That's good. Also, I'm like a natural steady cam. Look at this. <sighs> no, you just. <laughs> okay, so we made it back to the car. Uh, feel pretty good. I'm trying some MMs. I'm a sandwich. Yeah, we got sandwich, we got food. But definitely feeling good being here. You know? You Hershey, feeling? it's really nice to be friends again. I know. We were definitely not friends out there. It's too stressful, too hectic, too painful. Coming up on Cali? Coming up on Cali. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Northern California, almost to the coast, almost Highway 101, but we have entered the Redwood Forest. It, it, you, there are tons of thick trees now, you can tell. Thick! These things are giant. It is just very apparent that these trees are a lot bigger here than where we were. Woo! Exciting, exciting. We're still doing good here driving. Keep this on the road. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a big one. Cool. All the maps you got. There you go. Just kidding. Thank you. Have a good one, sir. You too. Well, okay. Here it is. Here's our campsite, Prairie Creek. It's actually here. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting stars tonight. So right now the mission is to get some trees. The big trees. What? We gotta find them, we gotta see them, we gotta take them in. For example, this one. We're heading up to the big tree and it sounds like Anthony's getting real excited. Oh God, oh God, look at that thing. Oh! to be in the presence of this giant. I don't think I've ever touched anything this old. It's like touching into the past. Wow. Just being in here for five minutes is pretty grand EOS. So I think we need to try to get a couple hours in in the morning. I mean, it's nine hours away from Seattle, so we could just get in real light. Like, look at this stuff. Oh. These trees aren't messing around. How are we doing, RC? Okay, doing pretty good, but you know, not the best, but still really good. So we're here, we're camping, we're gonna make some dinner, eat some sausage. There's a lot of clouds tonight, we're not gonna get any stars, but we're gonna wake up really early tomorrow and do our best to get some really good shots of the trees and of the beach. Time for some sausage. Mm, 
Morning, Prairie Creek's tasting pretty great this morning from the straw. Hundred feet up, another tree is growing out the side of um, this stump. I mean, you see that all the time with like smaller trees that are maybe 50 or 60 years old, but that's a massive tree. That's probably a hundred year old tree at least growing out of the stump at, oh, over a hundred feet off the ground. That's, that's so, so cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to end our Redwoods trip short there. Uh, but we will be back and we will be back to Crater Lake. But for now, we're gonna take our 10 hour drive to Seattle. So, uh, but thanks for joining us for this adventure, guys. Please like and subscribe and comment and share this Pacific Northwest adventure. We hope to see you out on the trail on the next endless adventure. So I melted my shoe and then all my shoelaces got melted together. And I loosened them up, so now they're in the wrong spot. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to tighten these without breaking them. They're pretty brittle. And look at this top here. It's pretty 